Giuaco Piano Game, Giuaco Pianissimo Variation, 4, NF6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White's end game precision was a cut above black. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and the c4 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. This misses a chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This enables the adversary to kick the bishop. It is incorrect. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is quite good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This disregards a superior strategy for defending a piece that was being attacked. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. The pawns in front of the king could potentially double as a result. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a rook. It is good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It falls flat. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. That's good. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Although black lost their advantage, the game is still almost evenly matched. That falls flat. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This moves the knight to safety. 
This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This poses a material threat. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is best. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. This might indicate that a rook was attacked. It is ideal. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. White now enjoys a winning advantage as a result of this taking advantage of a mistake. It is a wise decision. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This strikes a rival rook. It is quite good. This is the only move that works. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This results in a pawn kick that compels the checking queen to go. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is quite good. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. The queen that was attacking is now gone. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This is the way to win a knight. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White's end game precision was a cut above black.